Hey, it's Kayla and this is On The Fritz. And today for Vlogmas slash Bookmas, I'm going to be making some fun, alcoholic holiday drinks from recipes I found on Pinterest. And this is my fridge. <laughs> Get those chestnuts away from my face. <laughs> okay, so drink number one is going to be eggnog. Drink number one is going to be a white Russian eggnog. So next clip will be the ingredients and how to make it. And then I'll do a taste test following. So here we go. Drink number one. Let's go. Okay, so to make a white Russian eggnog, you'll need a shot glass, Kahlua, peppermint and vodka, but I'm using peppermint schnapps, eggnog, and a low ball glass filled halfway with ice. So this recipe calls for three ounces. Oh, it's chunky. Eggnog. Wait. By the way, these aren't both for me. I'm making my husband try all these drinks with me. In one shot, Kahlua. So traditional white Russian is half and a half or cream, regular vodka, and Kahlua. Okay, I'm upstairs. I'm gonna be doing a little bit of editing while I'm drinking this. So I took a tiny sip, but here we go. That's really good. And it's really good with the peppermint schnapps. So the peppermint schnapps, I think, are just like a lot more mintier, I think, than what like peppermint and vodka would be without like the aftertaste or the bite. Uh, yeah, that's really good. <laughs> so, and my husband said that he liked his. He didn't want to be on camera because he's a public figure in our um, area. He's a football coach, so he doesn't want to be on camera. So yeah, so far drink one is a win on for both of us. So I'll go to the ne next clip for the next drink. Okay, next drink up is a holiday Moscow Mule. So you'll need your Moscow Mule cups, whatever these are called, with ice, ginger beer, cranberry juice, lime juice, Vodka or gin, I'm using Tito's vodka, and cranberries for garnish. So we're starting off with a splash of lime juice. <gasps> Two ounces of your alcohol. three to four ounces of ginger beer. And I hate ginger beer. Like I just like a little bit cause I hate ginger or anything. So let's see, this is six ounces. Two ounces of cranberry juice. And cranberries are for garnish. So the one I thought I put more ginger beer in is lower. <laughs> so time for the taste test. Keep wanting to try it before I'm filming. So here we go. It's good, it's still a little heavy on the ginger beer, but it's drinkable. So I don't hate it. <laughs> I've had worse Moscow meals before. That's definitely, definitely the truth. 
An update on my husband. He said it was okay, not as good as the eggnog one, the last one. That it's bitter, because I mean, it's ginger beer and cranberry juice, so it is pretty bitter. I thought he would like it more, because he's normally a bigger fan of mules than I am. And my daughter wanted some drinks, so I'm making her hot cocoa, and also, yay for some Monathon! Yay! Can't wait! If you do want to rate with us, you are able to get it. It's very difficult for us to pick books that are available to everybody, so I'm sorry if this book is not available in your country. It seems like it had accessibility on a lot of the live show on the last day of Gospel Group book. <laughs> okay, next up is a cinnamon apple cider mimosa. So for this you'll need chilled champagne, cinnamon whiskey, and apple cider, which I cannot find for the life of me, so I'm using apple juice. I've never done this before. Two hours later. This recipe doesn't have a mount, so I'm just gonna pour so I'm in a glass. That's really good, so the first sip, it just kind of tastes like bubbly apple juice, and then the cinnamon like lingers, and it's like a cinnamony aftertaste. So it's really good because you can see I didn't put a whole lot of uh, Fireball in there, so this is just enough to like make it taste cinnamony. And I think if I had actual I apple cider, it would probably be more cinnamon-like instead of just apple juice. But that's really good. I could have used a little bit less champagne, but I personally like my mimosas more champagne than the juice. So yeah, I recommend this one. This is really good. Okay, well I had a few more recipes pinned on Pinterest, but it's getting late and the alcohol is starting to hit me. So maybe I'll just make a part two to this or I'm not sure, but I hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> I thought it'd be fun to experiment with some fun drinks. I'm usually a beer drinker, if anything. So this was fun. Uh, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time, guys. Bye-bye. Cheers.